I am here to do yet another review. Um, uh, I'm going to forward this by saying that I am thinking about doing a Q&A video. So um, I've already gathered some questions on Facebook and on Instagram. So if any of you has any questions you want me to answer, just send it through. You can comment it or you can email me on my informations and my about me or whatever. Um, I will answer everything. It doesn't matter how rude it is. I will at least say something to everything. So, um, because I know a lot of people, even though I've explained it, um, a lot of people have been asking me why I am doing nothing but reviews lately. And I've explained that, but I will save the explanation again for my Q and A. So onward. Um, I don't know if you guys are coffee lovers like I am, or if you have heard of this company called Bones Coffee. Um, Bones Coffee specializes in very, very unique flavors and they are pretty pricey. Everything is um, ground to order, created to order, so everything is very, very fresh. Um, the artwork on the packaging is beautiful. It looks so cool, especially for, sorry, my hair is all messed up, um, especially for anybody who's goth, dark, or alternative minded. Um, it's just something that is really, really unique. And I've got a whole bunch here that I'm going to be trying. So for now, this is just going to be an introduction to what I've gotten, what the flavors are. And then, um, it's going to take a while to brew these. I'm not going to open them and brew them all at once. I'm going to do like one, one a day. So when I get a chance to, I will come back and I will give you an update on what they taste like and if they taste anything like what they're supposed to. So I've got them in order here from, I had them in order from how we were going to try them. So first of all, this is peaches and scream, which is peaches and cream. And they've got a little thing in the back and you can smell it. It smells so good. It smells just like peaches. I know my video is probably reversed and I apologize. Um, but you can always look on the website if you want to read it. But um, this is a Peaches and Scream. And it just says a Bones Coffee Company production, Peaches and Scream. <laughs> I mean, they don't really have much information. They don't have the flavor or anything on them. Um, this one is Frankenbones. And this smells so good this is the one that smelled the best and i couldn't remember what flavor this was because again it doesn't tell you any flavors on the package but it turns out this one is actually chocolate hazelnut and i love hazelnut i do not like chocolate but i do love hazelnut josh loves chocolate so that's a good combination mix up there for us um, this one is self-explanatory this is caramel apple and as soon as i pulled it out of the box I can already smell the apple. I don't really smell the caramel as much. I think that'll come into play once you brew it, but this smells like apple. It smells so good. Um, next up is Wonder Bones, which I had to actually pull up here. Um, let's see. Where is it? Wonder Bones, I did not pull up. God, I'm dumb. I think yeah, I think this is butterscotch and caramel. Let me actually look really quickly because I, I pulled up everything else when I got, sorry, excuse me, I got the pictures up and I thought I screenshot that one as well. Um, Wonder Bones. Wonder Bones coffee. So this is, I was wrong again. This is salted pretzel <laughs> and I love salt and I love pretzels. Uh, so that smells kind of like caramel though. None of these have an intense coffee flavor to them. They all smell like other things. Um, this is Jacked O' Lantern, which is pumpkin spice. See, this one tells you what it is, but the other ones don't. And this smells just like pumpkin spice. This smells like pumpkin pie. So I imagine that would be really good. I, when I was overseas, I used to make fun of everybody that, you know, that was, um, oh, pumpkin spice, pumpkin spice, pumpkin spice. And I was, I came to America, came back to America and I was like, what is the deal with pumpkin spice? Because when I left their pumpkin spice wasn't a thing like it is now when I left America, being gone for 10 years, lots of things change. 
and I tried it and I fell in love with it. So I am now one of the people I used to make fun of and all good fun. And I love pumpkin spice. So next up we have bananas foster and these are sample packs. So this is, this is a normal size bag and this is 12 ounces and this is a sample pack and this is four ounces. And with the sample packs, um, you really can't smell anything in the back. They're compacted a lot more. There's not a lot of room to smell it. But um, the way this one is described, I did save. So this one is banana, rum, and vanilla. Next up is, I got this one for Josh. This is Mint Invader, some chocolate space. And this is mint chocolate chip ice cream flavored. And he loves chocolate and he loves mint. So he will really, really love this. And again, you can't really smell anything on these ones that are more compacted. Next up is White Russian, which is just coffee liqueur. White Russian flavored. No smell. I don't know why I keep doing that. <laughs> oh, I don't know. Did I show the picture? And I've got a couple more. Um, this is Highland Grog. So I think this is the one that I... I thought was the caramel. This is butterscotch and caramel. So this, I imagine, will be so good. So um, I'm really excited to try that because I love butterscotch. This also I got for Josh. This is strawberry cheesecake. This is the top rated flavor on the website. Everybody says that this is really good. And I love cheesecake, but I don't like fruity cheesecake. I just like plain cheesecake. I don't like anything on it. And with this one, when you smell the bag, you can't smell anything, but when you bring it out, all you smell is strawberries. It smells like they've got fresh strawberries in there. So I'm pretty sure that's all I have to try. And then also I got this drinking chocolate for Josh and um, I did open this and taste it. This is gonna take too long to open, <laughs> but um, this has got uh, little marshmallows and also chunks of chocolate in it. And it tastes like straight chocolate. It's a very, very, very strong, strong chocolate flavor. And that is it. So I will be back once I brew up these day by day. Like I said, it's going to be quite a while from now before I, I release that video because it's going to take a while. And I will let you know what each of them actually tastes like, how good they are, how strong they are, my ratings, and um, yeah. Have you guys ever heard of Bones Coffee or have you tried it or wanted to try it? And which flavor do you think sounds the best? I'm mostly excited for the peaches and cream because I just, I love peaches and cream flavored stuff. So um, let's hope that one lives up to my expectations. <laughs> but until then, I will see you guys later. Take care. And remember, if you have any questions for me, um, please submit them and I will do my Q&A, which means I actually have to release this video before I do the taste test part. So this will be part one, taste test will be part two. And um, in order of, you know, most interesting, least interesting, which ones are you most curious to have me try out? But again, I will see you later. Thank you for watching. Um, thank you those of you that are still here. I know my um, views are like almost nil at this point because I don't really upload anymore. And again, I'll, I'll talk more about that um, in my Q&A because I think that there was a question about that as well. So um, I will try to answer everything I can and I will talk to you guys then. Bye!